Next up is Kentucky sophomore local product Emmanuel Quickly. The league quickly made this season compared to his freshman season speaks volumes about his work ethic, mental toughness, and potential. Quickly elevated his game in every statistical category, going from averaging 5.2 points as a freshman to 16.1 points this season as a sophomore, improving his rebounding from 1.8 to 4.2 rebounds a game, his free throw percentage from 82.8 to 92.3 this past season, his three-point shooting percentage from 34.5 to 42.8, and field goal percentage, 34.5 to 41.6, which all helped him earn SEC Player of the Year honors. He became the go-to guy for the Wildcats, and his impact has NBA scouts intrigued. Let's see why. Strengths. Quickly at the quiet first half, receives the ball at the top of the key and sizes up Florida guard Noah Lockie. Quickly drives left, makes contact with Lockie to create space, and scores inside. And one. Kentucky is in transition. Higgins gives up the ball to Quickly. Quickly sees Florida floor for Wayne Blackshear on him, and he immediately starts to drive. Quickly splits Locking and Blackshear and scores inside with a tough left-hand finish. And one once again. Now Quickly is feeling it. Higgins drives and passes it to Quickly sliding down outside three-point range, who knocks down a contested three. Maxie drives inside. Quickly sees freshman guard Scotty Lewis lose sight of him as he digs down to help on Maxi. Quickly, who was moving towards the top of the key, runs back to his original spot outside the elbow, completely losing Lewis, and hits another three. When Quickly gets on fire, it's a hard blaze to put out. Now in transition, Higgins races up the floor looking for the hot Quickly. He dribbles over to the left side, Quickly runs behind him, receives the pass, and lets it fly from the top of the key. All net. Weaknesses. Quickly is guarding Florida guard Quest Glover. As Florida's Keontae Johnson drives baseline past Hagen and Whitley, Quickly could have dug down in the paint and tried to take a charge or contest a shot. Instead, he stood there and watched Johnson score easily. See, man, and ball is the most basic principle on defense. Quickly would have to be more alert and proactive to make an impact at the next level. Quickly is defending Florida sniper Noah Locking in the corner. Florida point guard Andrew Nemhart and for Wayne Blackshear running dribble handoff action with Maxi and Nick Richards defending. As they run that action, Lockie runs towards the elbow and Richards switches on them hard due to Maxi stumbling, finding the get over Blackshear's screen. As Blackshear slips to the basket, quickly is in great position to jump in front of the passing lane for Blackshear. Instead, he hesitates, resulting in an easy layup for Blackshear. Again, being aware on defense must be a constant to thrive at the next level. On a broken play, Quickly does a good job of leaving Johnson jumping in front of a driving Scotty Lewis to force a pass back out to Blackshear. Florida guard Trey Mann fell out of bounds but bounces to his feet and runs out to the corner. Mann recognizes that Kentucky has lost sight of him, reverses course, back towards the basket. Blackshear finds him for the score. During the mix-up from Kentucky, Quickly has time to run down to again try and draw a charge or force a pass back out to reset the offense or contest to make it a harder shot to convert. He just watches. In fact, the only player to react is the biggest player on the floor for Kentucky, Nick Richards. Defensive awareness is an area that Quickly must improve in. The pro level demands it. Quickly can score from all three levels, and I know he can still run the team effectively. He's done that his entire life and was one of the best floor generals in the country coming out of high school. The question is, can he become a better defender and be consistent running a team and scoring at an efficient enough rate at the NBA level where being a point guard is the most grueling position on the floor? It quickly remains in the draft. I think it will take a year or two for him to get adjusted, and then he will start to make an impact similar to Hornets point guard Devontae Graham, who quickly reminds me a lot of. With his work ethic, I have no doubts that quickly will figure it out and become an impact player at the next level.